we are going to be pissing off a lot of laser affiliates today. I'm not talking about manufacturers uh, because a true manufacturer is not going to do what I'm going to show you today. So there's been a lot of questions coming from all you folks about these uh, cheaper laser machines, specifically the three-in-one machines. And a lot of people bought models like the one I have from four years ago, and I'm going to show you the issue that's causing all the grief. So stand by. Here we go. So this is a machine that a lot of you have out there. Uh, we bought this about four years ago, and I'm not going to name the companies because I don't want to be sued. Uh, but if you notice the color, not this color, this color's ours. We painted over this, but this color you'll know exactly who it came from, right? Very, very crappy company. So, here's the issue. This is going to be kind of a long video. I apologize, but this is a long explanation for a major problem. A lot of people have been getting issues with the machine saying uh, uh, laser unlevel, laser unlevel, and they think that it's the actual control unit having the issues. It's not... It's the actual tank. Now, I'm going to get down on my knees. I'm going to turn my light on. I'm going to try to show you this, guys. Okay, I'm going to turn my light on. Here's the issue. In these tanks, specifically the way that they manufacture these, I want you to notice there's a fill line right here. Okay, let me, let me open this up. There's a fill nozzle right here. Okay, you can't fill the tank. Past, you see the little water in there? I don't know if I can splash it around. Let me get my, uh, my. You can't fill it. See the water? You can't fill it past the top of that nozzle. It won't let you. Now, notice the bubble line. It won't let us get past what they are saying is the danger zone. Okay? It has to be in the green. Here's the issue. When they installed this tank, they installed the nozzle too low. Terrible design. They also, if you look right back over there, I know it's kind of hard to see because the the uh, focus isn't working. There's a focus. There, there's a uh, a sensor right here, right? Now, it, uh, it does work now because I took the top off, right, to put more water in past the bubble. But normally, I'm going to show you what happens, right? If we kick the power on here real quick, all right, we kick it on, kick it on. Let me move it around so you guys can see. Well, while that's kicking on, you're going to see the sensor is right here, okay? It should be about two inches lower. And what I mean by that is I forcibly filled water in here. You can see I got the lid off, right? But... Normally, the floater is down around here. You'll hear it. Hear it? What you're getting is a not level. See the screen here? This is what you're getting. Level protection, right? A lot of guys are losing their minds trying to figure out what's going on with that. Right? And if I take my fingers off, you'll see it works fine. The problem is, again, you can't fill this tank past the height of the tube. And so they've got that sensor set too high. Right? That's the main issue. They have to come in, you have to come in here. And for you guys that already have bought machines, let me go ahead and shut this off. We don't need it on. You have to come in here, take this drop it the to below the height of the bottom of the fill right the fill tube all right here's what i mean by that here's the, this is what you get if you buy a machine and it looks like this where all the stuff is exposed all the copper is exposed and all this is exposed ship it back to, or don't buy it to begin with here's what i mean look at our machines now i'm at my home shop so forgive me but here's our machines. Here's how it works for us. Okay. Our machines are a hole-in-one unit. Okay. You can see 
that our fill spout, the top of the fill spout is at the top of the green and the full. Not below. These are manufactured specifically for our machines. They're hot swap, okay? So you could take this whole unit out. There is nothing exposed. It's an all-in-one unit, right? Simple to fill up. You can see the bubble coming up, right? It's not a problem. That's why this other machine is sitting here because it was bought from another company that does the same shitty installation stuff, right? Same thing. The tank's built independently. All the other stuff is built independently. It does not work. This is a three-in-one machine that they put a laser cleaning machine in. It does not work. Do not buy machines that have this crap in it. All right? So I hope that explains a little bit what all you guys are going through. If you're losing your minds about the level protection and the machine keeps beeping and you bought a machine that has all the copper exposed, everything's a separate unit, it's individually put together, it, they did that because it's cheaper that way. They probably save half their money. It is a crappy way to have the chiller on a laser cleaning machine. It's probably the worst thing you wanna buy. You wanna buy the units that are all in one unit. If you get stuck and you need help, give me a call. Uh, this isn't the right shirt for this, but give me a call and uh, we'll go from there. I'll help you. I'll walk you through getting the right machine uh, for your needs. Okay. Hope y'all learned something today. My name's Corey. I'm with Alien Laser Cleaning. Give us a call. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.